I'd like to have an adventure To seek my fortune and fame But I think I might get homesick So I'll just play my video game I'd like to be in the circus With lions and tigers to tame But it seems like too much work So I'll just play my video game Welcome back. We're still on our Wild West journey in part two of our Red Dead Redemption review. These big Rockstar games, these big Grand Theft Auto style games, they take a lot of talk and to really explain everything that's in the game. Is it worth buying? Mm -hmm. I definitely say yes right off the bat. Right. Now in multiplayer, you can also free roam just like you can in the real game. It's the same map from the story. Exact same mm -hmm. thing. And same thing, you have challenges like gather up flowers, kill so many of this, kill so many of that. Whatever. But the challenges break down even more where it's like <clears throat> collect so many bags in, in grab bag missions, um, headshot so many other players, kill so many players with this weapon, headshot players with that, you know, like gold guns just like in Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. A, lot, a lot of games are starting to do that where they're breaking down the online where there's a lot of challenges to get more rewards. You start them. out with like a base dude from one of many factions or groups rather, and you start with a donkey, but yeah, as unlocked. you level up and progress, you unlock a sicker looking horse, a better looking horse, there's buffalo, there's another donkey, there's like tons of mounts you unlock. Yeah, a lot of mounts, a lot of different characters, you start there's a lot of different characters. Yeah, there's tons of characters, and those range from, I'm just going to just be general here, but you got Federales, um, Mexican Rebels, U.S. Army, cattle rustlers, miners, the Walton Gang, um, miscellaneous women, criminals. Yes, yeah, miscellaneous criminals, right. The shit ton. And, like and, pile. And, and each of those, they have 10, 15 guys, you know, that you can choose from. Yeah, anywhere from 7 to 10. Yeah. Like tons of fucking shit. Um, that's just cosmetic value, and that only carries over in multiplayer matches when you're playing, like, a shootout or a gold rush mission, which are, it's just you. Now, in the shootout, breakdown, you're trying to kill everybody more than they kill you. Um... In grab, yeah, in, in the gold rush, basically there's there's gold bags everywhere, and it, it's a free-for-all, but you try to pick up a gold bag and take it to designated points and capture more gold bags than everybody else in the game, basically. Right. Now that breaks off into two-player, or I mean, uh, oh, team-based team, team, team 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 yeah. shit, basically. Um, the team death there's match. grab bag, which is basically the same thing. There's a bag, and each team is trying to get to the center of the map, grab it, and take it back to their fucking base. Not the center of the map, I'm sorry. Basically, you're trying to get to theirs. It's a capture the flag. Get to theirs. Yeah, just with gold. Yeah, basically. Um, the points in this game are bro broken down into money, like, you know, basically, yeah. and experience. And basically, your score will be like, you have $500 or whatever. Um, there's a game shootout mode, which is just team deathmatch, pretty much. The um, best thing I can, as advice to anybody playing this game, is in multiplayer, Start getting the habit of hitting onto a guy, you know, doing the L to get your cursor on him, and then pulling up and shooting him in the uh, face. See, pretty much t tap, it. tap the L to lock on, yep, and then drag to the head. Yeah. And in multi get used to doing that. In multiplayer matches, there's silver boxes which give you full ammo for the guns you have, and then there's U.S. Army boxes yeah, which give you a new gun. You die, you still got the gun. That type of shit. That's in. That's if you're doing team stuff, because if you're like solo, you lose your gun. Because like enemies, you can pick up other enemies' guns. Once they die and stuff, yep. in solo. Basically, before every match, there's like a waiting period where people are playing violins, sharpening weapons, looking up for the distance, smoking, whatever. And that's where you get your chance to, fuck this, I don't want to play Gold Rush and vote, I don't want to play it. Or yeah. you can be like, hey, let's fucking start the match. And that you can run around in. Thing I don't understand, yeah, that's the thing I don't understand about that part. Every time I've ever been in there, I'm just sitting there, you know, looking at people's gamer cards and my character smoking. And just people run over and start fist fighting each other for yeah, no reason. Yeah, you can just fist fight. That's the only thing you do. You don't have any guns there. My favorite thing to do if they want to fist fight me, I just start running off into the middle of the wilderness going, <laughs> whistling, whistling and just running just into run. the distance. And they're like, what's that guy It's doing? funny. I but I, I think that's a great idea, though, because it's, like, it's pretty much the lobby, and they already have the map loaded. So if you don't know the maps and you're just starting, if you can get away from people that are trying to you know, fist Finish fight you, yeah. You can actually like kind of run on the map and kind of get a like, feel of where yeah, you are. Yeah, in the 10, 20 seconds they give you to do that. Yeah. 
Um, at least they all look around. A but little every bit. match starts out like this. If it's a single player match, it's basically every guy by himself in a this circle cool, yeah. called Shugo, and it's just like it'll be like you. It shows you. It shows your enemy. Draw, and everybody just fucking fires at each other. Whoever's alive circle. at the end gets more experience. Yeah. And team deathmatch, it's their team against your team, just stand off. Draw, boom, you shoot each other. That, I love that shit. Yeah, that's fun. And what's nice about that is if you survive that, you get the extra points, and you also you start you're starting the map. You know, so if you survive, you're still yeah, you around. Just, oh, I'm still alive, and everybody has to respawn. I'm gonna grab myself a gold bag and run going. into this point or whatever. Yeah. You know. Or find a good hiding spot or whatever. But it, that's really hard to stay alive. You know, you gotta be really good at diving and locking on popping heads and stuff. Yep. You know, you gotta get good at that stuff. Um, basically, and then in the free roam, things you can do in free roam are basically go to towns, and that's how you can just boom access missions and call people that are in that match mm -hmm. to those missions. Otherwise, you can just click select and just join. Um, Posses and stuff. Well, oh, yeah, you can do policies, that. But I'm saying, specifically, Sorry, like, yeah. team death matches and shit, you can click select and just go into team death yeah. matches, but if there's people in the free room with you, like your posse, you can go to a town and start up a thing, and you can get people that are in that free room right. session, right. specifically into that team death match thing. Um, things that I just cannot stand is I'll just be picking flowers, and another player just finds me and kills me. And then I respawn pretty much on fucking top of them. If I move, he knows where I am, he runs over and shoots me. Yeah, you and respawn the, only way, the same area. The only way to get out of that is to kill him. Well, if I kill him, he responds generally towards me. Right there, yeah. So I'm locked in this fucking stupid death match where we're only getting 10 experience every kill instead of 50 if you're in, in, in a regular the, in the match, regular matches. You know? And just like, why the fuck, just leave me alone. And the only way to get out of that is just join a match. Like, to just yeah. exit out. Or, and, or just kill him and start... Which kind of ruins the free... out of that yeah. area. And it ruins the free roam experience, in my opinion. Yeah. It kind of is bullshit. But there's also gang hideout areas where you can work with other people or by yourself to take out the gang hideouts and blow up their ammo, uh, uh, ammo boxes, and you get bonus experience for doing that in free roam. But again, I'm sitting there in free roam, I complete it once, and then I'm like, I'm just going to do it again. So I walked away, came back, then I'm sitting there trying to complete it while another kid's trying to complete it, so then I have to sit here and turn into this fucking respawn fight bullshit with him. Yeah, I did the same thing where I was like, oh, I want to take these gang members up. Another guy was there just so The best me. way to, do, to deal with this problem is play with friends, create a posse, which is a little group of guys that fight together, um, and even if you're by yourself, just try to get into a posse. Just yeah. send posse invites, be like, hey, you want to be my posse, or anything. And it's really not that hard. People will send them all. Yeah, the people will send them I usually They don't want to fight with you. Yeah. You know, I've been in a match where everybody's on one posse, and everybody's just trying to explore. Those are the ones I like getting in. Yeah. Um, I've, heard mixed, I've heard mixed stuff from people. Some people have been like, God, there's so many bugs in multiplayer. I haven't encountered a single bug in multiplayer, and I get... You've seen me. I come over to play on your console, and I just get... Fucking hammer with bugs in single player. Yeah. So I wanted to give this game a ten so bad because it's so fun. There's so much to do, and it's, you're gonna get your money's worth out of time consumption. Oh yeah. But the amount of bugs you have to deal with is fucking ridiculous, and this game needs a fucking update. And that's that's the main thing. Like it could have got better. They still haven't come up with an update. It's been out long enough that there needs to be an update. For eight, some of these bugs. eight out of ten for Red Dead Redemption, but I really want to say it kind of deserves a nine or ten, but the bugs keep it at the eight. But yeah. Just fucking buy it, it really hits that feeling of the Wild West. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Awesome facial animations. Yeah. Okay? I just got a high-def TV over the break. Looks good. It's, it's just, it's awesome game. Awesome game. Beautiful facial animations. Later on this weekend, that's right, Alan Wake. Let me check it out. It's going to be called The Unicorn's New Horn. Watch it!